What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, today's video, I want to unbox a new pickup that I got here. Um, I kind of had been searching for another one of these for my Hasbro figures and the prices kind of vary and I found this one and I'm not sure what kind of shape it's gonna be in, but uh, we'll get it open and take a look at it. I'm sure you can already figure out what I am talking about. So um, with everything going on, I cannot make fig purchases in confidence right now, uh, just in case I need money uh, for other things. Uh, I'm about to get back to work, so I'm hoping that that doesn't get interrupted. But uh, I saw the deal on this and I waited and I didn't see anything too crazy. And I just went ahead and made the purchase. So we'll see what kind of shape this is in. It did come from uh, New York, which is a little scary. Uh, looks packaged pretty well. I got this on Makar. Looks like he sent me a message. Oh man, look at that, he sent me a Stang card. That's cool. I think I bought from this guy before. I'm not sure because someone sent me uh, a card before. So my collection of these WCW cards are growing because I have a nice Ric Flair. Uh, last time I got a Ric Flair and I got a Flying Brian Pillman card. So they sent me this. So I'll have to make sure I give them a nice uh, rating. So this is the accessory stuff. So I'll pull that out after. Oh uh, yeah, here she is. Oh yeah, lots of paper in there. Lots of germs. But yes, it is an original Hasbro ring. So I guess these stickers are all original. Uh, you know, it's definitely not in great shape, but I have the Hasbro Maniacs uh, stickers I could throw on. But to be honest with you, I like to keep it original and it's, you know, definitely not that great, but it, it, you know, once you put some figures in there, it's not bad. Uh, has a little bit of a scuff on it, but uh, overall it's not too bad. I will clean it up and uh, we can get a better look at it after it's all clean. There's just some bubble wrap in there. We'll get this out of the way. So here are the posts and turnbuckles and ropes. So it does look like the ropes might not be the originals. Yeah, see, well, I mean, I guess this package doesn't mean much, but I think these are the ropes that um, I'd have to compare them. But if you look at the Hasbro Maniac ones, the diameter of these ropes are just a little bit thicker than the originals. So it's hard to say, I will have to pull them out and do a comparison because I do have another um, set for the other one that I purchased, but they wound up being in okay shape. Um, and what I like is the one I have already has the UK black uh, posts and turnbuckles. So this I wanted because it was blue. So I got all the turnbuckles and the blue posts so you can see these are not the first production run uh the very first poles were round at the top and i guess people were falling on them and uh maybe going in their uh kulos i don't really know but uh yeah they went to this square design i still do not have a flag which i really want but um i will get the flag at some point. These are actually nice little bags in case I need these for other accessories. I will save those and I can save this bubble wrap. So yeah, I'm pretty pumped. Uh, like I said, overall looks pretty good. See a lot of wear on the inside. Manufactured by Hasbro, Pawtucket, Rhode Island. I actually grew up not very far from Pawtucket and my sister actually still lives in Pawtucket now. Uh, she moved there not uh, too long. Well, I guess it has been a long time. Time flies, but uh, yeah. So it's funny to see Pawtucket on stuff. I mean, still made in China, but it doesn't say that it was made in China, but it says manufactured by Hasbro. 
but I don't see them made in China anywhere, but I am not sure. So I'm gonna go clean this up and then we can uh, get it all assembled and I will get out the other ropes. Um, I forget what his um, ad said, if they were original ropes or not, but it's hard to tell. If you look at the diameter right here, yeah, see, you can clearly tell. So, I mean, I'm not gonna ding him for that because it's, uh, it's not a big deal, but it looks like that white rope, if you look at it pretty good, the diameter is just a little bit thicker. So this must be a Hasbro Maniacs one. Uh, that is an easy way to tell the diameter of the um, turn the ropes rather, or a little bit thicker on the Hasbro Maniac. So I'll clean it up and uh, we'll um, bust out the other ones and take a closer look and we'll put it all together. Okay, so I got it all cleaned up, looking good, it's, you know, in good shape overall here. Uh, stickers are definitely uh, showing wear, but what do you expect? It is old. Um, here are the Hasbro Maniacs. If you haven't heard of them and you're into these rings, you can find a lot of these bases and then you don't really, uh, well, not bases, but you can find a lot of the rings uh, part and, you know, buckles and everything. But if the stickers are in bad shape, you can get these and I know they won't be the original or the same, but you can really see how much a new sticker would make it pop. Um, so it comes with all of the stickers too in this little bag. And then these are the ropes here. So um, you can see the diameter of the white one here, they are different. So here's an original rope I got here. Well, this says it's the original from the other ring I have. But if you look here, these are definitely uh, different shades of blue. So who knows really what one is original. I'm guessing by the ones that came with this ring that they might be someone did something different because they are a little thicker and they're way too clean. Uh, I will ask the seller if he knows. I mean, I'm not gonna be mad because I have the Hasbro Maniac ones and I still have some. As long as the base and the stickers are original and for what I paid for it, uh, it wasn't a situation where, you know, I paid top dollar and was, you know, worried about that, so. Okay, so here is the supposedly original ropes that came with my first ring. You can see here uh, the ropes that this ring came with are definitely different. The diameter is different. The shade of blue is different. So I'm not sure what is what, but the Hasbro Maniac um, has a different feel to it than whatever he sent me and the red is different. So uh, I can tell what one are Hasbro Maniacs and maybe this person or someone, I'm not sure, was just trying to get some different ropes. So don't really know, will be a mystery, but it is what it is. I didn't pay a whole lot for this ring, which is part of why I got it. So I'm happy there. I will go ahead and put it all together and put some figures in it and we can get another look. So let's do this. So first, definitely gonna wanna put in the posts. They just slide in, out, <laughs> in like so. Uh. Forget if there's a certain way to do it or not. But I think they just, oh, okay. I forgot, there's this little notch right here. Just line it up with the notch in the ring and they go right in, duh. I always remember stuff being so hard as a kid and then it takes two seconds to figure out there's a notch in these ones. You know, some people complain about them being, the ropes being hard to tie up, but I just thread them through the turnbuckles and on the, they go. So one, two, three. So all the posts are in. Let me get a little organized here because I look like a mess. Okay. So all the ropes that he sent me are already tied 
together. So I'll separate them. I'm just gonna put the ones on that he got and save my, I mean that he sent me and save the other ones that I have. So that this original, I'd have to find a truly original ring. Someone that knows theirs is original and compare ropes to maybe figure something else out. But like I said, not a giant deal. As long as the ring and the buckles and the posts are original, it's not such a big deal. That's why for now, I think I'm just gonna rock the beat up sticker because I know it's original and that's what I really like. Really like the original WWF stuff, the WWF logo. Um, you know, obviously it's WWE now, so I'm not really that into it, but um, it is what it is, so. Here are my turnbuckles. And let's go red, white, and blue. So we'll start red on the top. That's how my other ring is. And I'm not sure if that's how it goes. Actually, I think I'm gonna take a look. Let me show you something. Let me go get it. <laughs> okay, so if you don't have one of these and you're kinda not, I mean, even if you're into them and you know a lot of stuff, it's just cool to have. But this is the Hasbro Maniacs little um, guide they give you. And it shows you all the figures and everything. I really like it. But it comes with a little checklist. So right now, I'm confused what colors to go. I was going to base it off my other one. But you can look. And it shows you the red, white, and blue. So that's what I will go with. So let me untie what he's got going on here. And you want to go with the logo up. So you got to put one through like so on one side. And you go around and you put it back in on the other side. Boom. And there you go. You got a turnbuckle. Let me turn this so you can kind of see what's going on here. So, and get one more. And we will go around and do all of these. Probably just fast forward all of this, but it's relatively simple. With all these I think it actually goes a different way you're supposed to turn them all the way into the turnbuckle so you don't see where it's tied but I'm just gonna leave the knot there maybe I don't know, maybe I'll cut them I guess if they're not original, it doesn't really matter. And then you turn it around and you can stuff it into the buckle so you don't see it. I think that's how it's supposed to go, like that. So when you're done, it's in here. You don't see it, but kind of doesn't look right. There we go. There we go. Much better now. You can't really see it, and it's hidden in there. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just turn the recording off and uh, do all of these, and we'll look at it with some wrestlers in there at the end. All right, guys, I got the ring all together. Uh, you can see here where I tied it up. I just took a lighter and kind of uh, fringed it back up from my cuts. And my ropes are all nice and tight. Uh, buckles are not exactly where I want them yet. It's not hard, but if you're super picky, 
it's hard to get them, but I just use it for display. I got a few of my figures here. Got a bear hug Hulk. This is probably my favorite here is this Bret Hart. It's got just a slight uh, discoloration on them, not bad. This is probably my best Hasbro here is this Ultimate Warrior. He's in really good shape. His action works good. His nose is good. No visible paint wear. So I'm super happy because the ring that I currently am using is so full uh, that the wrestlers barely fit in there. So now I can divide them up a little bit. And I also got the different rings, blue and black turnbuckles and poles. So I'm super happy. And uh, yeah, another Hasbro ring in my collection. Happy to have it. I'm going for a full Hasbro figure collection. And I would like to get the yellow King of the Ring version of this, but it is pretty uh, expensive, kind of out of my price range at the moment, but uh, we'll see what happens in the future. Um, always looking to get more Hasbros, but um, yeah, I don't really know what more to say other than uh, if you're into Hasbros, you gotta have a couple of the rings and you know, play with your figures or display them or whatever it is you do. I'm not gonna judge you. I, be honest with you, I don't really play with them. I kind of tried and as an adult, it's not the same. I get more satisfaction at buying them and putting them in the ring and looking at them than I do with trying to play with them. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for tuning in. And don't forget, follow me on Instagram at Action Figure Propaganda. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.